Okay, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Oosh. We're back again once again. And funny thing is, uh, we recently actually talked about this, but I made sure I did it in a way where I wouldn't get my video taken down because for those that don't know, anyone who talked about this game ahead of time actually ran the risk of getting their content taken down and removed altogether. So that was, like I said in my last video that I did about this, was a very obvious way to essentially let everybody know that yes, you are doing what you're hiding, right? But we digress, we're finally here and they finally unveiled what is multiverses. And multiverses is what seems to be exactly what the rumors have been, you know, on about. It's a platform fighter, another one, but this time it's featuring a lot of Warner Brothers characters. So we're literally about to see a game, a fighting game, a platform fighting game that's gonna have the likes of Batman and Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. What a timeline. So anyways, let's go and get right into this. Hi, I'm Tony, the game director and co-founder here at Player First Games. We're here today to give you a first look at our new game, Multiverses. About two years ago, we had a question. Can we create a platform fighter that embodies everything? Wow. Moves the pain points and brings in some new ideas. These stages look amazing. Besides teamwork and social play with an ever expanding diverse cast of characters that you know and love. This is our take on the competitive platform fighter. Cooperative, deep combat mechanics across multiple platforms and free to play. Everything is better with your friends, and that's a bond we want to emphasize across our modes, especially in 2v2. Hi, coming at you. Every character has unique moves that focus on team play. Yo, One Batman is OD. For Batman to cover your team's movement. Batman out. Steven shielding his ally for extra defense. You need a shield? Saving someone with a lasso retreat. What? Or using Bugs Bunny's tunnel. The better your teamwork, the better your chances are. To so win. 2v2 is going to be a thing, huh? We built the game from the ground up for teamwork and co-op yeah. to deliver a more unique experience that we think players will enjoy. What? And for those of us who like to play solo, don't worry, we support that too. <laughs> I mean, you, you're better. Is not afraid. Our roster has some of the most recognizable characters, so bring them to life with as close to one one <laughs> I can't believe this. Through visuals, their worlds. <laughs> music and more is important to us that's why iconic voice talent powers many of our characters like kevin conroy as batman i am batman in fact we think you'll recognize a lot of them bet you didn't know about my dancing powers my roommate thinks i have anger issues let's see what you think wow we're excited to show you our takes on characters from tom and jerry to Arya stark not today that's mad all this Shaggy. Zoids. Each fighter in multiverses is unique. They One really did it. Available for all of them. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So they many. really did it. Ultra Instinct Shaggy is not a meme anymore. It's a reality. So you can focus on what's important. Cross progression too? That also means guilds and more social features. Get ready to challenge other guilds with yours and see who's really ready for a fight. What? We'll have leaderboards and other ways to prove. Yo, this game is gonna go crazy. Remember the last time you DC'd from a match? What about lag affecting your inputs? Us too. Multiverse's goal is best in class online. We're investing a lot into making the most responsive. Let me hit that rollback. In addition to dedicated servers from day one for the life of the game. Okay, but what's the, what the magic word? Our vision for multiverses is that anyone, I'll wait. anything is possible. We'll serve our community with regular updates, including new characters, modes, skins, and events throughout the year for you and friends. With your help, oh, we'll God, multiverses bro. to the best game it can be. So whether you want to freeze all your foes, they keep shaking on Bruce Lee. Sports, you'll have a home here. Batman versus Superman. Let's settle once for all. You gotta be kidding me. Multiverses. We've got more iconic characters and features to reveal. Sign up at multiverses.com for a chance to participate in our upcoming play tests. We want to hear your feedback. I did sign up. So don't worry about that. I definitely did sign up. Victory! Oh. Sweat. 
I can't believe they're really going this hard for this. So here's my thing, right? This is a cross progression, cross platform, platform fighter that seems to definitely be on that rollback and that cold life. Now, the big, here's the big thing, right? The biggest thing I think for me is the fact that it literally is free to play. I said this before in in general okay i've said that if if studios start adapting this whole free to play model they're going to make more money i feel like than they would putting a price tag on the game and then just releasing dlc separate because they're going to pump this game with so much support people are going to spend money on this shit regardless like, you're not going to spend money on that Batman costume, the Superman alt, the fucking Bruce Lee shaggy. Like, you're not even going to have time to even try to even want to mod the game because they're already going to beat you to it. I mean, Multiverses. Wow. I mean, this is a Warner Brothers Studios project, obviously. If they have the money, that's what it all comes down to, right? If they have the budget and they're able to cut whatever deal with whomever, the name fits and they could get anybody they want. Let's be real with that. Like, I'm all about my platform fighters. I play Smash. Everyone knows that. I play Smash. I play Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl now, you know, recently, whatever. I see a game like this. First of all, graphically, it looks, it looks beautiful. The stages look great. The character models look pretty good for what it is, you know, platform fighter. And I feel like that kind of a style will blend a lot of the characters that you probably wouldn't really see in the same sort of like animated formats or cartoons or whatever. But man, the fact that it's free to play and they're just literally like, I feel like they're just so open and they're very direct with the direction and what they're trying to, they want to make sure that this game is taken care of, fully supported, constant updates, and that they're supporting competitive play. Like they want this shit to be at major events. I can just get that impression. Out the gate, they want people testing it out. They want people to create more content. Just like my man Squishy, what's going on? I feel like people better be careful because I, I, I feel like Multiverse is gonna be a pretty dope game. The other thing I wanted to say about it, I feel like we might end up seeing a lot more platform fighters going forward. And I'm not, and I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Because honestly, I feel like I've just been yelling at a wall for years. Whenever I talk about things that should be happening and how things should be taken care of. I mean, because of games like this and Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, we might finally see another Jump Ultimate Stars-esque game where they take those jump properties and they freaking put them in a, a platform fighter. Because I feel like with these other developers and studios making their respective games and releasing them in the timely manner that they have been, it's almost as if like they have been playing their cards right with the timing with Smash Brothers because clearly Smash Brothers is the king. Smash Brothers is the king of platform fighters. There's no question about it. There's no doubt about it. That is the definitive platform fighter. No matter how much you, no matter how you feel about it, as it is what it is. They set the bar. They set the standard. That's just how it goes. So I think similar to Nickelodeon with uh, their team, and now with Warner Brothers and the multiverses, I feel like they were like, okay, what is the time frame? How much longer are they gonna put support into this game once? Sora comes out that's when we make our move and the fact that they only the only move that they made was putting out their trailer putting out all that information within said trailer and then even having an open sign up for beta testing for content creators like myself streamers like myself to try to get more eyes and ears on this game because they're they're they're, they're doing it right man they want everybody all hands on deck I respect that and I feel like that's just going to play into their lifespan a lot better. Now, I'm hoping, the last thing I will say is that I'm hoping that mechanically and holding the controller in my hand, whichever type of controller I go with, because let me, let's face it, when I see a platform fighter, I am more than likely going to try to lean towards a GameCube controller. I'm just, that's just how it is. Okay. But despite that, I want to know and I want to feel how this game plays because that is going to be a very crucial point they can have they can make it look as cool as it is they can make the stages look as dope as they are but if that game plays like shit ain't no one gonna stick with it i mean i'm sure people will but 
it'll have a very fast decline over time and you'll only see like it'll only be around for so long like they'll have like you know their big tournaments and their big pop bonuses and whatnot but so there's only there's gonna be plenty of people that are gonna put, just dump money into this game you know what's funny free to play is realistically is like pay us however much you want that's really what it is either way those are my thoughts and uh i can't wait make sure you guys are staying tuned because i will be covering uh this game more and more funny how they revealed it for ps5 and ps4 Four. Is, is this an exclusive because they said cross play cross progression so i'm not sure if this is also going to be on like xbox and switch and pc i mean i'd imagine also be on pc at least but mm. we'll soon see in the future guys stay tuned